Cows, the second episode of the second series of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, is based on the story of the same name by the railway series book, Edward the Blue Engine. This was the first story in the second series to be based on a Robert Audrey story. And does it hold up today as it did back then? Let's take a look. Edward's age is beginning to show due to having some worn out parts, causing him to make clanking noises. One day, Edward is pulling some cattle wagons to a nearby market town. The trucks are making a lot of noise, as is he by this point. Near the line is a field where some cows are grazing, and they become provoked by the noise from the train as they are not used to them. As Edward passes by the fence, a number of cows break loose, charge across the line and break a coupling, causing the last truck and the guard's van to be left behind. But even the dirt to just be the trucks misbehaving, Edward continues on his journey. It was not until Edward arrives at the next station when he and his driver realised what happened. Gordon and Henry hear about the incident and find it very funny, leading them to tease Edward about letting a few cows break his train and brag that they could handle cows easily to his annoyance. Toby is also ignorant towards the larger engines as he knows that they have never encountered cows like he has and do not understand the trouble they cause. A few days later, Edward's mood is still bad when Gordon sails through Wellsworth with the Express, still teasing him. Gordon continues down the line, telling the coaches to hurry until he and his driver think they see something on the oncoming bridge. The driver shuts off steam, and as Gordon slows to a stop, he sees that the obstacle is a cow. He tries to shoo it, but the cow refuses to budge from, from her loneliness due to the fact that her calf has disappeared. Gordon's crew and the passengers try to get the cow to leave, but to no avail. Henry soon comes by with his train and also thinks that the cow can simply be ordered away, but is also unable to get her to move and nervously reverses so as to not hurt her. Once back at the station, Henry's guard tells the station master about the cow blocking the line. The porter realises that it is Bluebell declaring that her calf is at the station and that they will send it to the bridge in a truck pulled by Percy. Arriving at the bridge, Percy reunites the calf with its mother and the two cows are easily led away by the porter. Gordon and Henry make an agreement not to tell anyone about the incident, but the story quickly gets around. That night, Edward is ready to tease Gordon and Henry in the shed. Gordon defends himself and Henry, claiming that he stopped to prevent Bluebell from running up against them and hurting herself. Edward says that he understands, but Gordon worries that Edward understands all too well. It's just a fun episode with some cows walking onto the tracks, showing some railway realism as this sort of thing would happen on the railways long before this story was written. Cows and other livestock would often wander onto the tracks, and Wilbert was quick to exploit this for his railway series. It's worth pointing out that for this episode, as well as the rest of the series, that Henry regains his wheel arches and his stepladders become solid. Because as we know in the first series, when Henry gets his new shape, his wheel arches are removed. But from this episode onwards, he gains them back. So Ringo Starr, as always, gives a wonderful narration in this episode. And while his cow impression isn't exactly the most realistic cow in and just a simple mooing, Moo. you have to admit that it is a better cow impression than what George Carlin did in the American version. <coughs> and for all you American fans who may be watching, I am not taking the piss out of George Carlin's performance in this episode. No, no, he was a great narrator and he was a great comedian as well. But the way he makes the cow sounds in the American dub in the episode is just sounds very unrealistic to me. And let's be honest, if they were going to get a narrator to get the cow to make a silly sound, I think that Stephen Fry would have been a better choice. <laughs> but all that aside, this is another one of those episodes that has some firsts for this series. Like the fact that Edward's getting old and his parts are wearing out. This is a thing that would go on throughout series 2, and would eventually be concluded in a later episode, which we'll talk about later on. But I also love how Toby defends Edward against Gordon and Henry when they tease him about the cow incident. You couldn't help it, Edward. They've never met cows. I have, and I know the trouble they are. It's very fitting for this particular character to say this sort of thing, because it's very likely that he would have dealt with livestock wandering onto the tracks, being a tram engine and having cow catchers and all. Because as I said, livestock running onto the tracks is a common thing on railways. The funniest incidents I've ever seen is pheasants running onto the tracks when the train is running right in front of it. And they're so stupid that they just run right in front of the train, like run away from it, until they eventually decide to get off the tracks. Because it's a well-known fact that pheasants are thick as shit. 
so it makes sense for Toby to be the one to back up Edward on this. Chaos is another one of those nice simple episodes that just takes the time to show us a bit of railway realism and its band of characters as well. Having Gordon and Henry victimise Edward like they used to do in the first series, then Edward getting his own back when the same thing happens to the two of them. It's just an all around fun episode which I highly recommend watching. This is one of those episodes that I used to re-watch a lot as a kid. On the VHS tape where I had those episodes as well as Magic Roundabout episodes, as well as Chase of Races and Runaways. 18 episodes of Mischief and Mishaps, one of the greatest VHS tapes of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends of all time. And I think the Thomas community might kill me or something if I don't bring this line up. That must be Bluebell, said the porter. Her calf is here, ready to go to market. As we all know in the American dub, the line was changed to her calf is here looking for her mother, because the Americans apparently didn't want the idea of livestock being slaughtered to be in a kid's show. It's funny how some things like that can fly over people's heads in the UK and yet it doesn't in America. Well, most of the time anyway. I guess American broadcasting companies are a lot more serious than British ones are. But this kind of dialogue would go over a kid's head, whereas an adult, and especially farmers, would know what they're talking about in a second. It's just another one of those random moments that makes the TV series a lot more adult than people give it credit for. It's all around cows as a fun episode where nothing majorly exciting happens, there's no runaway, no chase scene, it's just a fun episode with livestock running onto the tracks. I highly recommend checking this one out if you haven't seen it for a while. It's a nice simple episode that you'll have a good time watching.